forecast from 15 News. Well, as we end the week and go into next week, we have a lot to talk about. But first of all, the nice weather we've had is going to get a little bit chilly as we go towards tomorrow and also into Saturday morning. We get those winds out of the northwest and the front's going to be pushing through with that uh, tomorrow. With that, we're going to be getting even colder air. That means we're going to be seeing some instability. Cold air over a warmer surface. That means we're going to be seeing rising air, instability, and the possibility of also seeing some flurries. Right now, though, we are well above average. Madison is at 25 degrees above average from what they would normally be. Boscobel is at 29 degrees above average in La Crosse right now, 31 degrees above average. Now, this is going to be the end of it for the next few days. We'll get back to those above average temperatures next week. But before that, we do have to get some cooler air in here. And this is what it's going to be looking like as we go towards tomorrow morning. We're going to get down our temperatures to about freezing or below for tomorrow morning and not really get too much higher than that. We're going to get into probably the low 40s, a big difference than what we saw today. But the other factor is going to be some flurries and we could be seeing even some snow squalls pushing through. Now the day's going to start out pretty well. We're going to see some clouds moving in and then as we go into the afternoon time frame, notice these uh, bands of snow pushing in from the northeast to the southwest. These could be snow squalls, which means we could see a quick burst of snow, dropped visibility and some gusty winds along with this. So it could cause a problem in terms of our driving in the, our commute for tomorrow afternoon. That's going to last for anywhere between two to five or six o'clock in the afternoon and then start to taper off as we go into Saturday clear skies and some better weather there. But as we go towards next week, temperatures are on the rise again. So we're talking possible record breakers across the region and that's going to be for Monday and Tuesday, just depending on the city you're in. But take a look particularly down here towards the south at these temperatures. 59 degrees in Madison on Monday, 65 here on Tuesday. And if you take a look around, 67 potentially in uh, Janesville on Tuesday. These could definitely be record breaking temperatures. We do know here in Madison, uh, our record is in the upper 50s. So hitting 65 is is definitely going to break a record then. And then after this goes through, we are looking at a storm system that's going to be coming through. We do have a first alert day now for Tuesday. That is going to be ushered in by that warm air, 65 degrees, and then showers. Now those showers could be strong. That's why we do have a first alert day now issued for Tuesday. And then on the back side of that, we could be seeing some snow. And notice those temperatures are really diving from Tuesday 65 down to Wednesday's Ooh. 34. So that is a that's a powerful system going through yeah. in terms of the temperature gradient. And when you get a gradient like that, you do have the potential of seeing uh, bigger storms coming through. All right, well, and that's watch what it. spring's all about. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah.